So uh, our next panel actually is called Penta News. And what I see here are awesome prizes. So you really might want to get into this game. Uh, I heard we have a video to show you. So let's give it up for the uh, speakers. Game show hosts. And uh, news game show. We offer hot prizes, one player is on stage. Challenge by 32 questions. People on the net to the rescue. Fun included. See you on day one. Right. This is actually what what everyone was supposed to, all of the speakers were supposed to hand in before the uh, Congress. And I wonder if any of you have seen this on the web page. I haven't. So we just played it. Welcome everyone to the Penta News game show. Uh, tonight, um, what we first need is three players on stage. We kind of hired one already, Fukami. Don't be shy. And uh, just to, uh, you know, Make it easier for you to, to volunteer here. We have real prizes. First of all, Sasha from the POC, he just gave us a, a megabit uh, meter with an Arduino uh, self soldering set. This is worth about 50 euros. We have another prize, which is, I think I don't have to explain this to you, the IT crowd, but this is uh, season one to four. And this also has this board game uh, they developed in one of the last episodes. Uh, in there, we have uh, the IT crowd without the board game, and we have the Big Bang Theory, the first uh, three seasons. Um, for those of you... <laughs> ...who may think, uh, you know, it doesn't uh, cost it anything, and for those of you who have your ad blockers being fired right now, um, this is the yeah next. This is the company who uh, sponsored that. You may know this dude in the lower right end. This is FX. He has his talk tomorrow. You may know him from many, many extremely valuable and, and cool talks he gave uh, on the Congress and other events. And. Uh, I can say I once had the pleasure to work with them and they smashed the system they were supposed to in half an hour or so. If you need a security consultant, he might be the guy. Okay, the rules. Um, <laughs> of the game. Uh, again, we need three players. You saw we have cool prizes to offer here. Um, there always will be a question and four uh, possible answers. There will be timers, so you have uh, 60 seconds to, uh, to say, I want to answer. And uh, if nobody answers, the one with the most points uh, will have to. Um, and we have jokers. The first one is called the... Uh, Russell? First one is called the Wikipedia joker, so 50% of the non-relevant answers will be deleted. <laughs> Next one is the NetApp Joker, so uh, you just have to point your web browser to pol.c3d2.de. And especially for the guys on the peace missions, this is a way to participate in here wherever you are on the net. Um, yeah, and if you find my, some things dodgy on this poll, uh, this might be intended. Okay, uh, next Joker is the Irk Joker, so you can log into Freenode. Go to the channel Panda News, and once the player pulls the Joker, he will see what you write. So, might be helpful or not. <laughs> I guess you all will be very helpful. All right, and the last one we have, we call a shift or whatever Joker. So, if one player isn't sure about how to answer the question, he just can shift the, the question to another player of his choice. All right, so guys, we need three up here. 
And please Come on, don't. put your hands up if you want to participate. Okay, first row. One, two. First row. We have another one here. Over there, someone. I guess all of you will have followed the news somehow on the net, so this is... All right, thank you. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and we have three of those rounds, and then we do a, a shootout round, or how is it called? So the winners of the first three rounds are going to play each other at the end. Um, this now is getting a bit tricky here. Um, you have to sit on those switches. This is some very old stuff. We also needed this laptop, which is 10 years old, to have a PS2 port. Um, yeah, and you please uh, have a seat over there. You tell, was this one one or three? Three, okay, then we start with you. Um, can you please tell me one name you want to have for the next 10 minutes? Martin? Your name? Mark. Mark? With C. And I know, yeah. And why don't we start with the, with the first question, which is uh, quite easy. Yeah, you can watch on this screen. And can you see that there? Uh, so we'll read it for you. So again, if you, if you guys know the answer, you just press the button and we start over again. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. So, which company caused the big media hype for sniffing wireless land traffic for a fraction of a second this year? Martin for 100 points. That was Google. Yeah, let's see. Number three. Google, if it's right. Yeah. Well done. All right, this probably was the easiest one of all. Um, next question, please. Which website did not distribute Trojans this year? <laughs> <laughs> to our knowledge. Was it the Lenovo support webpage, the page of the Nobel Peace Prize, the US Treasury Department, or was it events CCCDE? Yeah, well, I go for event CCCDE. Are you sure? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, a support site shouldn't spread Trojans. Nobel Peace Prize sounds like a lot of confidence in U.S. Treasury, I mean. <laughs> I trust the CCC. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, so, and I was leading after the second round. <laughs> okay, you have to watch the video. So, Chen Jiaping uh, was sent to a labor camp for one year. Actually, this was the day of her wedding, so it's quite a sad story. But what did she do um, to be sent there? Was she retweeting? Uh, that her fellow Chinese folks or people should be angry at the Japanese because this was kind of a fight of some islands or so there and this is a fisher boat actually attacking a, a guard boat of the Japanese there quite freaky and the, the video is taken from another guard boat from the Japanese so this guy really was brave so anyhow the second possible answer is she was uploading the video of this boat attack to YouTube. Third one is uh, she was uploading a cartoon which kind of was showing the boat attack or 
she was uh, demanding that the Chinese captain should stay in jail in Japan. Mark. Okay. I have no clue, but no risk, no fun. She was uploading the video. You think she was uploading the video? Well, you may try one of our jokers, maybe. <laughs> Are you confident? I'm going to take it. Sorry. Um, oh, yeah, you can't hardly <laughs> read that. That's the tweet she sent. I mean, I doubt anyone over here will be able to read it, so I think it's probably OK. <laughs> With the resolution. Yeah, this was for tweeting. In China. OK, next question. For what reason pupils of a Pennsylvania school exploited the remote admin software of their school laptops? You know, they all get a laptop, and there was a remote admin software on some of them didn't like. Uh, no, I'm not sure. Fuck. Um, I take the we, IRC we have those, joker. We have those cool jokers, you know? Yeah, the IRC joker. Which one? The IRC, the chat. The IRC joker. Wow, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> well, if that isn't helpful, <laughs> then what? There was only one answer here, apart from <laughs> some people learning to type. So I guess it was a camera. <laughs> yeah, this picture is absolutely misleading. <laughs> sure. Sure. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah that's right. So actually, actually, the story was going on that they were monitoring uh, well, kids with those laptops, and one guy, he was eating some weird cookies, and then he was kind of charged to take drugs, and you know, this was a big story this year. And at the end, he got, I think, 600,000 US dollars or something for the spy attack from the school. Anyhow, um, next question. What was the punishment for the Sarah Palin email hacker? I mean, every one of you probably knows there was a guy hacking into a, uh, an email account Sarah Palin was using for her business, um, which is not allowed by US law, but nothing happened to her. But the guy who guessed her, her password, um, he may or may not got a fine. So was it 300 hours in public service, one year in prison? 250,000 yes, uh, fine or acquittal, which means all charges were dropped. Yeah, I'm saying that he went to jail for a year. Martin is sure one year prison for hacking, well, guessing a, a password of. <laughs> I wonder how many people go to jail today here at the Congress for that. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's right. So, next question. What gadget makes one to stay detained in Guantanamo Bay? Well, that it, was quick. It was a Casio wristwatch. <laughs> wow, after five seconds, it's hard to convince you to <laughs> try another joker. Yeah. Yeah, that's the picture. So, so if anyone over here has a watch like this, uh, well, you might be a terrorist. All right, next question. Which computer language holds about one quarter of all NIST, that's a, a National Institute 
of standards, vulnerabilities, uh, blah, blah, entries, and is about 15 years old. What, what jokers do I have? Well, there's Perl, PHP, Java, or C Sharp. I do have one of those 50 50 jokers, right? Yeah, I think I would try that 50 50 joker. Wikipedia. All right. So, <laughs> left is PHP and C Sharp. It's random. <laughs> I, I do have 50, 50 seconds, right? Well, now it's 47. <laughs> yeah, maybe you think of some vulnerabilities you've heard about. Was it C sharp? Was it PHP? Or think about what's older. Or maybe try another joker. Well, I would, I would say that PHP is more awkward, and I will go with that. Yeah, we have. But I don't actually know whether it's. Yeah, 15, 15 years seconds old. left to change your mind. Yeah, I will go with PHP. All right, so let's try PHP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we can work on that. Okay, next one I think is quite interesting as well. What was the most cracked password of the Gawker uh, web page user database? You probably know that Gawker was complaining about Anonymous, that those are only script kiddies, and so one day later on they found their user database in, in Pirate Bay. and. Uh, some guys, of course, started to crack the passwords, and the options are one, two, three, four, five, six, then the word password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or QWERTY. And Enno seems to know the answer, uh, or? Yes, but to be sure, I will take the Wikipedia joker. All right. Well, so I guess it's password. <laughs> so, the numbers or the word? Password. Yeah. Well, this is another joke of what you're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, you have 30 seconds to think about it. I mean, what, what, what is your password? <laughs> is it really password or one, two, three, four, five, six? No, well, after that reaction of the audience, I, uh, I will change. Ten seconds. No. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Change it. Yeah. He changed. <laughs> Sorry for that. Why don't we see the, the other picture? Actually, this was place number one to four in the row. So first place was one, two, three, four, five, six. Second was password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then QWERTY was place number four. All right, so we have a winner. And the winner is Enno. So please don't go away, because in the last round, you will play the other two. All right, and we need another three players. Please here. put your hands up. Oh, thank you. That makes it easier now. OK, Fukami, please. Um, Zach? And all right, take you. We'll keep you in mind for the next round.
All right, the sec actually we have the guy who is doing the Hacker Jeopardy. This is what we're playing at the Datenspuren, which is a two-day symposium in, in Dresden we do for the first couple of years. Then we lost the source code of that and we came up with this game here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hard Falcon. Sack and Fukami. Ja, ich Ich will Joker. Ja, sehr gut. Alright, ready? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to start with the first question. Which company did not cancel the WikiLeaks account? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, Amazon, PayPal, Twitter. Twitter. Mastercard, yeah. yeah. Even though their timeline ranking was a bit strange, but yeah, I think I don't have to argue on that one with you. All right, next question. Which country does not allow porn scanners? <laughs> Israel, United States, France, or Germany? Uh, that was Israel. Sure? Yeah. I mean, Could they have... Could you do FIFA's block? <laughs> well, this guy is copying <laughs> Yeah, so next question. Which page did Wikipedia not delete? <laughs> so, Panther Radio, which is our little radio show. Alternativlos is the podcast from Fefe and Frank Rieger. The Club Mate, this is what many people drink here. Or the mirror side of, of Wikis. I guess well, it's Fukami, are you sure with your answer? Or you want to try a joker? I, mean, I guess it's Club Mate. Well, I would recommend to take a joker. I'm pretty sure about it. I mean, it's not about which one they deleted, which one they did not delete. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, I have just 225 points. So, you go for it? I'm fine right. with it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, the thing is, Panda Radio doesn't have a, a, a Wikipedia page. So, <laughs> they couldn't delete it. All right, next question. A history question. How old is the web actually four days ago? 15 years, 20, 25, or 35? 20. And you all know the web was developed by... by 20. Doesn't work? Or by the CERN, and this is uh, how they decorated the web page when the Large Hadron Collider started. All right, I guess with Fukami, I don't have to talk about that for long. Are you sure? <laughs> All right, next question. What was the, uh, how was the web forum of the Epilepsy Foundation got attacked? Was it by password guessing, uh, including animated some gifts. animated GIFs, fishing for a free treatment they may receive, or did someone offer them free screensavers? Uh, animated GIFs. 
And you're sure about it? I hope so. Well, you always can, you know, lower the risk in taking some of the jokers. I think I read about it in FIFA's blog too, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but I'm sure about my answer. Yeah, so I mean, all that is from the internet. I mean, that's why it's true, always. Well, I'm pretty sure so, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> and that's actually the gift. Thank you, dear. All right, the next is, uh, yeah, let's go for it. It's about mobile phones. What happened in Turkey? <laughs> what happened in Turkey after the spell checking changed? Uh, you change the topic every time you run out of arguments to uh, you change the topic every time they are fucking you in an SMS sent by a guy to his fiancé, I, I believe it was. Uh, so what happened afterwards? The couple broke up. The couple got married. The phone manufacturer was sued and had to pay uh, 50,000 euro to the couple, or the couple killed, killed themselves. I'll start with the Wikipedia joker. <laughs> <laughs> well, choice between two, two killed or they broke up. I mean, for sure they didn't I, get I'll married. Take the obvious one. They broke up. I sure, sure. I mean you, you can you can take more jokers on that. There are more questions left. <laughs> yeah, actually the, the father of the girl he awaited the the guy then after this SMS and he attacked him uh, and then he attacked the girl and yeah at the end of the day both <laughs> got killed <laughs> all right next question is not as violent um, for what patent violation uh, 36 companies got sued at once by the Marshall patent troll? Was it a patent on spyware, on anti-spam, on shutting down OS, or voice over IP? Uh, Again, I we think we should try the uh, NetApp joker. We didn't have that one. Yeah. Good choice. So. You go to poll.c3d2.de. Oh, and it's working. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> We're not sure about it. <laughs> no, they're not flickering. How long will it take until someone hacks it and one of the others pushes up? It's net up. It's net up, so everything's possible. <laughs> well, well, then I'll take the one. The US shut down then. Are you sure? Of course, I trust you all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, um, the patent on spyware has Apple, anti-spam is the right answer, all shut down is Microsoft and voice over IP, I don't know exactly, but this one was taken down by the EFF this year. All right, next question. <laughs> Well, still everything is possible. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Which organization? I think got he's looking for a buffer overflow. <laughs> 
So which organization got nervous when they found out that some employees consume child porn? I mean, this is not about you know the employees. It's just that employees got or well, could be blackmailed or something. So come on, I want to see the IRC joker. <laughs> Fifty more glorious seconds. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I guess you have to try something else. So, here. folks, you want to tell us that there's absolutely nobody in here who has a zero day exploit for Chrome? By the way, Astro wrote the software, yes. So, 10 seconds, 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, was the FBI? Since I tried so hard, uh, hard fight on this. Fukami, luck. I'm sorry that I stole your option to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we look for another three. Okay, I promise you two already. Um, yeah, and let's take someone more from the back. I take the one who's most in the back. Because this, yeah, I guess it's you. Would you please come up? Yeah. Ready? Yeah, then let's start with the first question. Did we have uh, that already? Oh, we have to change the <laughs> set of questions first. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the reload helps. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I mean, so far, everything was working quite well. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Which operating system will quote only one FBI sponsored backdoor in 10 years? <laughs> Assuming that's going to be verified, and so far it doesn't look like. Yeah, I mean. That was the easy one. So, in which country it doesn't even need a judge to block web pages? We have France, Spain, Mexico, or Norway. You can choose from. I'd like to use the Wikipedia joker. <laughs> France or Spain? Okay. 
I take France. And you are sure? Yes. Yeah, because Spain should get the same law as France has with the three strikes, and uh, this was dropped a couple of days ago because of some of the Wiki cable, WikiLeaks cables, <laughs> as it said. All right, so we had crime. And the next question, we get uh, the other part that belongs to crime. What was an operator at Denver International Airport doing while a group of high school netball players passed the porn scanner there? The Wikipedia joker, please. <laughs> All right, so the two options left is... Uh, I, I think the IOC may help me. <laughs> Yeah, I think me. we should enjoy the rest of the so time. So I yeah. think I will uh, get the Nidab Joker too. Time now, and you see, uh, with made up, many things are possible. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pull for things that don't even exist anymore. <laughs> By the way, did you get the points now? Because I'm not sure if you. No, was the wrong answer. Huh? The wrong answer, and okay. time out, so he doesn't understand me. All right. All right. Next question. Who answered, I'm working on clarity around that uh, at the moment after being asked about the purpose of Twitter? Was it Steve Jobs, Dick Cheney, Nicola Sarkozy, or Dick Costolo, which is the COO, I believe, of uh, Twitter Incorporation? I think I need the IRC for that. Why? Why? <laughs> I want to answer. <laughs> yeah, there might be answers to other questions here. <laughs> I guess I'll say eight. I'm really happy we got this late slot. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually it was the CEO of Twitter. Who doesn't know what the company is about. So, next question. In which country web pages open after 10 p.m. to show a documentation about the French Revolution? The options are Germany, France, Brazil, or Japan. Uh, I think it's Germany. And how sh sure are you about your yes. guess? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a screenshot. So I guess you're trying to watch <laughs> that often. All right, next question. 
who lost 4 million user accounts in July. July is important. Um, so, I take the Irk Joker. The Irk Joker. So, we have Facebook, Foursquare, Pirate Bay, Verizon. <laughs> Might be him. You cracked it. <laughs> yeah, very impressive. I take Facebook. <laughs> do, do you have any other jokers left? No. You know, it's a shame. What, what chokers have I left over? <laughs> no? No idea. Uh, maybe I take the knit up choker again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is quite helpful. You're killing me. So you stay with Facebook? I mean, at least you could convince quite a lot of people. <laughs> Maybe I switch to Foursquare? <laughs> I'm getting quite a lot of WebSocket messages. <laughs> it doesn't scale. <laughs> I found a bug. Yeah, it's a NATO machine there. Hacking is not allowed in the Netherlands. <laughs> so, but we can, but we can solve that, I guess. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, the thing is, if Facebook loses user accounts, it's way more than 4 million. I've never guessed. Don't it. always believe what you read, guys. <laughs> All right, next question. This is actually quite a nice one. So we also have art. Uh, in what year was the first Aske Art movie created? Was it uh, in the 70s, 80s, 60s, or 50s? Hmm. Duracell may employ one of the jokers, right? I think about. Yeah, I have 70, questions, uh, 70 seconds left. It doesn't mean that it really ha was. Cre or it doesn't mean that. It had to be created on a, on a computer. Or it doesn't mean that AALIP has done it. I have some time. <laughs> and you also can... You, you I also can guesses? You also I'm can pass yes, on the question. Yeah. But, uh, I want to try uh, if there also a bug. So I'm waiting. Okay, if you shift to me, I'll shift back. <laughs> hey, 
So please uh, do the uh, hmm? shift joker. <laughs> to whom? Oh, that doesn't work out. By the way, that's the uh, that's the movie. Please don't respond in the last second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a little delay here. It's a bug. <laughs> And this actually was printed on, on paper and then it got <laughs> animated. <laughs> In 1968. <laughs> exactly. This is how it gets started. Oh, it's that long? <laughs> Does it have a loop there? Or? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Isn't it <that> fascinating? <laughs> Was it? We play. Okay, guys, ready for the next question? Last question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You also can make it uh, above the surface. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. The concert. <laughs> the concert is what? Music band were announced to be cancelled. They were not really cancelled, but they were announced to be cancelled uh, by a hacked Twitter account of the of the band. Was it Guns N' Roses, ACDC, Kiss, or the Rolling Stones? Well, All so bands were good thing they know very well how to <laughs> to deal with Twitter. So I think it's. Mm, yeah. Which joker do you have left? Mm. <laughs> no joke, joke left. Um, the Rolling Stones. Are you sure? I, I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> I think I don't know it, so take it. Do they give concerts anymore? <laughs> yeah, maybe. That's a good question, yes. <laughs> Is there no live album at iTunes now? I heard about it. <laughs> so, mm. Okay, so the last seconds I don't want to wait, so I choose now uh, Guns N' Roses. <laughs> yes. And that was the right answer. Which I guess made you win this round. <laughs> All right, now I would like to, the two first winners to come back on stage. changes now we have 10 questions not eight but 10 and I think we questions. can start right away Let's see yeah right question which company sold the WikiLeaks cables uh, that was Amazon you think it was Amazon not Apple via iTunes Barnes & Noble 
Well, um, as nobody is hosting anymore with Amazon for obvious reasons, they have to sell something, so they are selling cables. Yeah. And not only that, I mean, it's, it's a bit hard to read, I guess. Uh, they're also selling T-shirts with the IP address of WikiLeaks. Um, they uh, say support WikiLeaks T-shirts. They advertise also literature on censorship and stuff. And yeah, I mean, quite funny, I think. So next question. How long did it take to hack the German electronic ID card <laughs> software? Uh, that was one night. It was the uh, unsecured update function. That sounds Exactly. Certain. They didn't check the SSL certificates, which I think was a bug in the Java framework they were using. Sorry? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> that was quite confident. All right. Next question. What did Foxconn do to reduce the worker suicide rate, which was quite high? Lower the work hours, drop compensation for the families of the people that killed themselves, increase the salary, or did they put flowers on the, on the work floors? Well, Wikipedia. I take the need up, Joker. All right, guys, on the peace missions, you are asked. Oh, shit, that's not a good idea. <laughs> no, that's really not a good idea. But I can tell you, Answer 4 has over 10,000 votes already. <laughs> well. <laughs> it will continue in a moment. I had in mind that they forbid suicide in the working contract, but um, <laughs> in this yeah, case, nice I, idea. Uh, I will take the flowers as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the whole game state is in the browser. <laughs> And we didn't test with 10,000 people. Yeah, yeah. but maybe uh, we can get Nick Farr on stage, so the time for waiting should be a little bit more funny. And <laughs> oh, look. Wow, at least he came back tonight. So, but you still stay with the answers. They put some flowers to make yeah. the workers happier. All right, so. Let's see what the answer is. <laughs> yeah, they found out, I mean, well, and the I'm compensation was about, I think, 15,000 euro or something. All right, next question. How much did the European Union pay to pro-net censorship lobbying groups in 2010? 100,000 euro, 300,000, 600,000, or even 1 million? 1 million, because they're always paying in millions, not in uh, K euros. <laughs> Yeah.
Well, good thinking, but you really go for the biggest one. Oh, it's okay, one million. <laughs> so it was 300,000 only. Poor guys. I mean, what can you do with this money? <laughs> All right, the next question. Which business sector started to do WikiLeaks advertisements? Actually, this was in Pakistan, if I believe. Was it internet service providers? Was it done in electronics? For cars or for ladies' hygiene articles? I, I shouldn't press the buttons that far. Um. <laughs> yeah, you, you always can, yeah, you I always take can the pass on. the shift joker. To whom? To? Uh, Felton. Uh, I guess we should have some fun, so let's take the RSC joker. Yeah, thanks for not choosing <laughs> Nader. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that looks like a Debian random number generator, doesn't it? Okay, I'll choose ISPs. You think ISP started? Are you sure about that? I'm not sure, but I'm even more uncertain about the other answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can make it bigger. That's the, the ad day. <laughs> you. All right, the next question. Which, weapons, uh, which weapon was not allowed by the TSA for soldiers flying back from Afghanistan? Uh, nail clippers. Also courtesy to FIFA's block. And I'm sure, yes. All right, so that's was quick. Yeah, I mean the most dangerous weapon of all. Oh, yeah, next one's good too. Um, see the play? Yeah. A little bit smaller. According to the I R I A R I A A, how many times the amount of all existing US dollars that they are were stolen by the Pirate Bay? <laughs> <laughs> not point twenty-three, not point five, twelve times the amount of US dollars that exist, or forty-six. I choose times. the Wikipedia joker. So, I mean, of course, it had to be a big number. <laughs> uh, hard to guess, so I think it's 46. They're only the greatest thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, what else? Unbelievable. So, the poor content mafia. All right, next question, also about numbers. How many errors did the Office 2007 suit score at the OOXML test? You know, their file format they proposed, this is actually the standard printed. There, this pile of paper. So, did it pass without any errors? Two I'm errors. Oh, sorry. I'm pretty sure it was 1,300. 1,300. Yes, you, you I'm know, sure, and, yeah. and you are as confident as you were before. Sorry? And you are as confident as you were with the last question. But uh, you had it right. That's my definite answer, yes. <laughs> I mean, how to implement a standard like this? Right, which brings us to one before the last question. Yeah. What are, amongst other things, the anti-terror laws used for in the United Kingdom? 
for doing uh, CDTV, block web pages, actually catch terrorists, or search trash bins to catch trutans. Those are pupils that don't, don't go to school. And in 25 seconds, the guy with the most points is going to answer. Can we have the tea tree stream, please? So this time I choose it directly. I choose uh, the, how it called? <laughs> Chip Joker. Chip Joker. Two? Uh, so he can't get it back to Eno. Uh, do I have any uh, jokers left? Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm fine. I know. <laughs> You're not? No jokers? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> if, if I have any jokers left, I will use them now. <laughs> Is it Let's see. I think, yes. Try it. <laughs> Would be helpful. Uh. <laughs> no, it's clearly not. Yeah, that was extremely helpful. <laughs> okay, there was only one real answer. I think it was a trash bins, uh, the, the last one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think it will be okay. Yeah, and of course, I mean. All right, and this brings us to the very last question. What was the US new launch code <laughs> until 1977? It was uh, uh, the zeros, only zeros. I mean, just what yes, we sure. prepared here, yeah? The first one is the, is the ASCII characters of Moscow, <laughs> or the ordinals of the, of the ASCII characters. Second one is all zero. Then we have the they have the, the um, Declaration of Independence and another password we know from some other user database. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. All right. <laughs> So, Anno, you are the lucky one to choose the first prize. I mean, uh, because I haven't seen any of the episodes, I'm going for the IT crowd. <laughs> All right, you also can you also can choose the this uh, megabit meter. Uh, I, I'm not good in soldering, no. All right. I always burn my fingers. So. All right. Thank so. Thank you. Congratulations. Dorotha, you. Some handicrafts or Big Bang Theory or in the IT crowd without the board game? I think I choose the IT crowd. All right, so you still can choose the handicrafts or. Uh, I'm going to choose the megabit meter to uh, measure my bandwidth yeah. while downloading the other stuff. You know what? And for that, I'm trying to get the big bang three. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So thanks, everyone, especially to the guys on the peace missions. <laughs>